Well, that's it about the markets and the numbers. But compared now to 2017, when it was a slow start to the year, 2018 was a strong start uh, to the new year, leaning on positive macroeconomic conditions and encouraging market fundamentals. Let's meet Bola Hoaino, Head of Investment Analysis at Codras Capital, to give us his perspectives on the factors that shaped market performance in January from equities to the fixed income side of the capital market. Good evening, Bolaho. Thanks a great deal for joining us on Capital Markets. Good evening, Temple. Um, happy to be here. Great. You guys produced a report during the week, um, an overview of what transpired in January. So give us a sense of how the capital market or equities market now was able to uh, gain that kind of 15.95% that it had uh, in that period. Okay, thank you, um, Temple. Well, January was fantastic, quite an impressive performance, and really is on the back of, like you said, market fundamentals, and quite a number of things as well. Um, if you know, there have been a lot of monetary easing on the fixed income space, so we've seen a lot of people that would have ordinarily invested in the fixed income space coming to the equity market. We've also seen a lot of FPIs as well, that's foreign portfolio investors coming to the market. So on the back of the fact that the I and E window was introduced in April, a yeah. sharing that has been quite stable, so for them, they found it comfortable to come and invest in the equity market. So for FBI, really, they usually have two major fears. One is currency risk, and one is the fact that they don't like uncertainty. So the currency risk has been addressed through the IIN window. And of course, there's been a bit of stability in terms of our policies. So we've seen a lot of influx of FBIs. So apart from that, there are also some retail investors. So if you look at the NSC analysis, 57% of participation was the locals, while the others was, with, was FPIs. So one market fundamentals, um, oil price. Oil price is at um, significant high, $60 um, dollar per barrel, which is good for us as a country. Um, attractive, um, at, at, attractive valuations. Mm. So Nigeria is still attractive on a P perspective. You compare Nigeria to other emerging market peers or to other frontier peers. So we are seeing FPI inflows. Um, because the fixed income space is not attractive, of course, people will come to the market markets. Something interesting happened um, about two weeks ago, one of my clients, and he invested in fixed income product last year, yeah. and that was when the rate was attractive. Right. And subsequently also did, invested in First Bank at four Naira, and was able to exit about 14 Naira. So what he said was that, please put all my fixed income money into the equity <laughs> yeah, market, I cannot lose this opportunity. So yeah, I've seen a lot of people moving into the fixed income, mm. equity space rather. Mm. From, it, from the fixed income. From the fixed income space. Income, so valuations are attractive, um, the economy yeah. is recovering, yeah. um, oil price is stable, and of course, because there's monetary easing as well, we are seeing a shift in fixed income asset class to equity asset class. So we saw a period of six consecutive sessions of gain. And that was when uh, I think the, the, the market capitalization, total market value actually touched 16 trillion naira. That gave us some 17.91% gains. Is there a bubble in this market? Well, yes, um, there isn't a bubble. Like I said, market fundamental is still very much attractive. But of course, what we've seen is that it's a broad-based gain. So it's not every gain that we'll say is quality name. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the month-to-day performance, the top performance are tier two banks. Mm -hmm. But some of them have not seen results in a while. So really, the question is, what's driving the gain? What's driving the growth? So most of it is bad work on, bad work on effects, or what you call an ed effect. Mm -hmm. So yes, some gains are quality names. But of course, some investors are also just riding the wave. So what I also tell investors is that yes, invest in the market, but look at quality names and invest for the long term. So I don't see a bubble. I still think we might see some increase. Um, February, we expect to see some corporate earnings. We've still seen some coming in trickles as well. Yeah. But some, some of the results have already been factored into the rally that we've seen. So we may not expect such a massive rally, but I still expect the market to be positive in the month of February. Let's talk a bit about the gainers and the losers. Tell us about the top gainers and the top losers for this month of January that has ended. So top gainer was Sky Bank gained a whooping 184%. Mm. That is massive. But then that's a company that hasn't released results for a while. In a while, yeah. Um, closely after First Bank, I think, is Wema Bank. No, Unity Bank, then Wema Bank, Diamond Bank, and FCMB. Mm. So more of a tier two play. Um, so for some of them, because of their, pen, their, 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 their cheap on a price level, yeah. so really it's cheaper for a stock that is one era, two era to gain as opposed to if you are buying a GTB at 15 to see 100% gain. So most times investors want to play with stocks that are, that are called penny stocks. Yeah. So because of their relatively cheap price in absolute terms, we've seen gains in them. Mm. Okay, so attention shifted away from the likes of Lasaco, Royal Exchange, and all of that. Why? Well, so for Lasaco, um, 
So if you know, they've been on like a 50 cobalt power value rule. And recently, the NSC introduced the power value rule. Yeah. One, that's supposed to make the market more efficient and also to create liquidity. Mm -hmm. But some of those stocks that have been trading at 50 cobalt, some investors actually wanted to exit. But because it's been maintained at a floor price, yeah. really, the nursing activity um, in some of those stocks. So for some of those stocks, I want to see their price even trend lower than the 50 cobalt power value. And I think that's what we are seeing now. So people that couldn't get out earlier on, some of them are just taking advantage. Mm -hmm. There's no gain saying about there's no gain saying the NSA banking sector followed by consumer goods were the major ones that actually came next in terms of uh, the hierarchy for gains in the market for the month of January. But that, let's just move straight to the fixed income market. Tell us what transpired in uh, Treasury bills. Okay, I understand we are running out of time, so we'll touch quickly on that when we come back after the break. Break where we'll also be discussing what's next for investors in the month of February when. Uh, earnings season will set into the market.